So we often get asked, can, are there other things I can add to this? Because, you know, I love tomatoes, I love peppers, I love onions, but you don't have that in your milk and mix. Well, the reason that we don't have that in there is those, those are really, really tiny seeds and they just really struggle coming up from a direct seeding method like this. And as they're coming up as seedlings, they're not nearly as competitive with some of the faster growing things. So we really don't see those work very well planted as part of this. So what we encourage people to do is plant your milpa mix, however you're going to do that, get that in the ground, and then take your tomatoes or your peppers or your onion sets. It's great to have it out there amongst the milpa. You're just going to have to plant that as a separate step. So, you know, take your tomato seedlings, your peppers, your onions, whatever you want. Put them wherever you want to. Put them where it's going to be easy for you to get in and out of your plot so that you're not having to traipse all the way through to get to these. And then, and then just put them out there. And, and you, may, you may need to thin around them a little bit so that you're reducing the competition. You know, you don't want a big squash plant uh, just taking over your tomatoes and your peppers. You may have to do a little pruning, a little thinning. Uh, but it's going to be good for those plants that you're specifically planting, the tomatoes, peppers, onions, whatever they may be. It's going to be good for them to be growing in a diverse community. You're just going to have to help them get started uh, by doing some hand transplanting and some hand work. Uh, and until we kind of figure out a better way to do that, uh, that's what we recommend. Uh, and again, you're not going to do it across the whole area necessarily. Just do it in an area uh, where you can really manage it well to begin with.